Hi, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe for a most delicious Christmas recipe here in Australia. It is a pavlova. We're going to make it in a reef shape. Uh, if you saw the reef shaped cheesecake I did the other day, which was, by the way, absolutely delicious. The beauty of this recipe is its simplicity. It's so easy to make. It's really traditional here in Australia and it's great for those warmer days, but also fantastic for a lovely cold Christmas after a heavy meal. This is light and delicious. Come on, let me show you. Now the beauty of the pavlova is you can make it on the day. I've got down here some lovely red fruits because we're gonna make a red reef out of this. I've got some thick cream, which we're gonna whip up nice and stiff later on. In the bowl here, I have six egg whites, or at least I have four at the moment. We're just going to add another couple of egg whites in there. You can just crack them like that and separate the yolks. Now, make sure those eggs are room temperature, not cold from the fridge. Otherwise, you get a sticky pavlova. If you like sticky pavlovas, get your eggs from the fridge. Now you may decide to do this with a stand mixer, but if you just want to use a little electric hand mixer like this, we're just going to whisk these to soft peaks. <laughs> So that's only taken a minute or so. There are soft peaks. Now I've got 12 ounces of caster sugar. That's about 340 grams. I'm just gonna pop half of that in with my egg whites at the moment. Then I'm just gonna continue to whisk until they become silky. Now you can see that lovely gloss in there. We can now add the rest of that caster sugar. Just pop it on top. I've got a teaspoon of cornstarch or corn flour. I'm just gonna pop that on top as well one teaspoon of white vinegar, and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I'm just going to eyeball. Now we're gonna to continue to mix this until they're nice stiff peaks. So that is what we're looking for, nice glossy stiff peaks like that, and of course the ever safety test, does it come out? No, it shouldn't. Let's move on to stage two. Stage two, two spoons and come down here. We've got a flat cookie tray with a piece of uh, grease poof baking paper on there, uh, our meringue mixture here. And what we want to do is take those spoons and start making a, a reef shape. So it wants to be fairly rough, just like a reef would be. We're just going to start putting the meringue round in a circle. Now that's what I'm looking for, a nice round of meringue there, which is going in a very low oven, 120 degrees Celsius, that's 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna cook that slowly over about an hour and a half to two hours. So it's just drying out the meringue. Now I just wanted to show you the pavlova. It's almost finished cooking and you'll see it's risen. It's a beautiful sandy color. What I'm going to do now is turn that oven off and just open the door slightly. I'm gonna let it cool down in the oven. Uh, it may take another hour or so, but it'll hopefully stop the pavlova from cracking too much. Right now my meringue ring has cooled down almost completely, not quite yet. What I want to do is slide this now onto my serving tray. And now the best part, we're gonna decorate this thing up with fresh cream and fruit. Don't hang about, once you've made this up, you want to serve it before it collapses and while it's fresh and delicious. Now you may have noticed this pavlova appeared in one of my other videos. If you did, comment down below. Now she is looking absolutely beautiful. I've got my cream here. What I'm going to have to do, I could have piped it on, but what I'm gonna do is use a spoon and I'm just going to run the cream around the center of the ring. And we don't worry if they get any little runs of cream or fruit. So there you have that beautiful cream sat upon top of that crusty meringue. I'm just going to make a little dent in the middle of the cream because I'm gonna start putting my fruit in here. Now, how shall I start? I think with the pomegranate, I've got the seeds out from inside a pomegranate. They're the seeds of love. We're just going to sprinkle them across the top of our cream. Now that's already starting to look like a Christmas wreath to me. I'm going to put some mango, a little fresh mango on each of the corners. So a little fan of mango like that, if you can get it to work. And then I'm just going to start putting strawberries on. I'm leaving the actual stalks on, I just like the green. So I'm just really putting them randomly around. I think this is starting to look beautiful already. Now they're seasonal here, so I'm just going to lay some little cherries in the stalks. My golly, there's barely enough room anymore to get much more fruit on this, but I'm just going to try as I can to get as much. I wanna accent the whole thing off with some pretty little blueberries. 
The last thing I'm going to be doing is taking some blueberries and just popping them in any little areas, any little blank areas I want to fill up. I'm going to pop blueberries in there. Now that is starting to come together. I'm really pleased with that. I am going to get some photographs and then I'm going to have a slice of this Pavel over and I wish I could share it with you. Doesn't it look absolutely delicious? So there it is, my pavlova. I've taken some photographs. I'll put those up so you can see them as well. I'm absolutely salivating. I'm a pavlova lova. Let's get on and have a slice. So there it is, all sugary, sweet and fruity goodness. Steve's Christmas pavlova, let's give this a try. I know it's gonna be great. Here goes. A little bit of fruit. <laughs> Ah, oh, delicious. That is light, sweet, creamy, fluffy. It's just like a cloud on a plate. Absolutely delicious. You must try this. If you don't have it for Christmas, have it for Boxing Day. This is a winner. Please share the love. Give this one the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Now, as always, I'll leave some links up here to some Christmas recipes. And if you decide to make this and it looks great, or even if it looks a bit of a disaster, share some pictures across with me. I love to hear your comments. Be good. See you next time.